it makes an angle theta here. And there's a, a current in the loop I. And there's a magnetic field which is along, if I call this X, I call this Y, I call this Z, there's a magnetic field along the V direction. Along the Y direction. So there's a magnetic field B along the Y direction. A constant, a uniform magnetic field to the right. Along the Y. So the question is, uh, we could also, if we choose, we can modify the problem by saying that we have, let's say, n turns. So it's, this is, I took here one turn, but I could make them five or ten turns. Okay, that wouldn't change much. It, it will change the answers, that is, but still the solution essentially would be the same. So first we want to find the magnetic moment of the loop. The magnetic moment of the loop, if we have a, a loop, it carries a current I, the magnetic moment is simply I times the area. So the magnetic moment, mu, the magnitude of mu is just I times the area. So it's I the current I is given, and the area is just AB. That's the magnetic moment. Now, what is the direction of the magnetic moment? The direction is perpendicular to the plane of the loop. The plane of the loop, as you see here in red, so it's perpendicular, but now it could be perpendicular in one way or another. So which way is it? You follow the current with your right hand, with the fingers, you follow the current, and your thumb points in the direction of the magnetic moment. So in this case, okay, here's a current, so you just follow the current, and the thumb points that way. So the magnetic moment I want to draw it at the center, it's this way. And it's perpendicular to the plane of the loop. If I draw it at the origin now, if I take this vector magnetic moment and I put it, move it to the origin, so, so as not to complicate the figure, then it will be perpendicular to the plane of the loop. Since the loop is in the, okay, it, it's, it, since the loop is parallel to the z direction, so there's the loop, part of the loop is, is in the z direction, so a perpendicular to the loop, and the line perpendicular to the plane of the loop, it means it's perpendicular to the z axis, because the z axis, or this piece here, is in the loop part of the loop. So if this is perpendicular to the loop, it's perpendicular to every line in the loop. So it's perpendicular to the z-axis. Since it's perpendicular to the z-axis, it must be in the xy plane. So this magnetic moment is in the xy plane. It's also, since it's perpendicular to the plane of the loop, as I said, it's perpendicular to every line in the loop, it's perpendicular to the z-axis, and it's also perpendicular to this line. So this angle here must be 90 degrees. Since this is theta, what is the angle here? 90 minus theta. So it makes 90 minus theta with the y-axis. So mu makes what? First of all, mu is in the xy plane. And it makes 
90 degrees minus theta with the y-axis. And of course, b is along the y-axis. So it makes an angle of 90 degrees minus theta with b. OK, so that's the magnetic moment. What is the torque on the magnetic moment? Torque tau is mu cross b. So the magnitude of the torque is mu times b times sine the angle between them. But the angle between them is 90 minus theta. And sine 90 minus theta is just cosine theta. So this is mu, which is IAB, times B, the magnetic field IA little b. That's mu times B, the magnetic field, times cosine theta. This is the magnitude of the torque. And we can find this direction using the right-hand rule, since both mu, mu is in the xy plane, and b is in the y direction. So mu cross b would be along the z-axis. It's just a question of whether it's up or down. So using the right-hand rule, that's mu b. So it's down. It's in the negative z direction. Or if you like, you can take b cross mu. That's b along y. And to go to mu, you turn. You turn your hands, and it'll be up. So b cross mu will be in the positive z direction. That is, mu cross b is in the negative z direction. So the so tau is in the negative minus z direction. And finally, what is the potential energy? The potential energy u is minus mu dot b. So it's minus mu b times cosine the angle. Well, what is the angle? It's the angle between mu and b is 90 minus theta. Mu makes 90 minus theta with b. And sine 90, cosine 90 minus theta is just sine theta. So that's minus mu, which is IAB, times B, times sine theta. This is the potential energy.